we got to Kansas, I think it was November 10th. It was the day after one of my best friend's wedding, so that's why we ended up coming on the 10th instead of earlier. And the weather was actually so cold that I think it had the rut kind of messed up. He said it was even colder than usual. And my southern Alabama blood was <laughs> not taking it very well, which is why, as you see in the earlier video, we set up a ground blind and all this. But I've always liked hunting out of tree stands more, and that's why we ended up setting up this one that I was in. We bought a decoy. It's a Primo Scarface after dad had a run in and decided you know hey these decoys will probably work on these kansas deer better than they will at the house so we're gonna try it so we went and spent two hundred dollars on a decoy and it's best two hundred dollars we've ever spent i gotta say it works so good um it's actually legal to put corn out in kansas i don't see anything wrong with it if it's legal it is illegal in alabama so you know, I see both sides of that story. I won't get into that. But being rut and the time of year it is, they're, the bucks aren't eating. They're not really coming to the corn. And if anything, we just put the corn out so the does will come to it and they'll come to check the does. Or if, I'd, if we'd have come earlier season when they had a pattern and we're coming to the corn, probably would have had more luck with bait. But that wasn't the case on this trip. Because every buck that I saw in this video is coming to the decoy. And I actually rattled one up, too. Mm. They respond. I love Kansas. But, anyways, the night before, or last night, set up the decoy set up everything. We'd had two cows that kept getting out of the pen and getting in and messing us up. So we got in there, we fixed the fence in the middle of the day, set up the decoy, and I got in there that afternoon. And I was sitting there and we got a 10 point on camera that's young. And we had two on there that are pretty good size. One of them's pretty symmetrical, big beautiful 10 point. The other one is too. He's a little bit older and one of his sides is shorter than the others and um but the two big ones hadn't been there in over five days hadn't had any pictures of them on the stealth cam in a while over five days so got there and right at dark or it was good enough for dark but it was late enough that i couldn't record it because i thought I wouldn't be able to see it with my phone which I recorded about four seconds of it and then when I watched it back turns out you could see it so now I'm kicking myself for not recording him when he come in but he came right in and he almost got shot until I recognized him and said you know that's the young 10 point I need to leave him be well he come in he went right to the decoy he snort wheezed at him three or four times and I wish I'd have got it on video oh I wish I would have got it on video but he come in beautiful, beautiful deer. I told Cody, which is the guy that we went up there and hunted with on his land. I told him, I said, I got dibs on him when he gets big. About next year. <clears throat> beautiful deer. And got up in the stand again this morning, early, and didn't see a deer until 10 o'clock. Froze to death and didn't see a deer. The first one I saw is this little buck come in. He only had one side. The other side was broke off. He's young anyway, so he'll be pretty next year. But he come right to the decoy too.
after the little one-sided deer left, I watched him for a while, and he just kind of messed with the decoy a while, and then he kind of figured it out. He said, hey, you know, this ain't right, and he went on. A little while later, I looked up, and I could see two bucks in the woods coming towards the food plot. So I got ready, and I got my phone set up on the little bracket thing, and pushed record and looked out there, and here they come running, and Lord, that 10-point looked so big with the daylight and the sunlight bouncing off his horns, and it was another deer that's got one spike that goes up in forks, and the other side's a six-point. And the smaller deer, the jacked-up one with a limp, actually went to the corn, and the 10-point made a beeline right to the, right to the um, decoy again, and this time I actually got him recorded snort-wheezing, putting on the show. I love it. They left and I kept sitting there and I saw there's this one horn spike. He's a unicorn. He just got one spike. We call him Uno. I ended up seeing him in the woods. He never come out in the food plot, but I saw him walk by and another little buck that I didn't record just because they were smaller and we had all this other stuff going on. So I kept waiting and at about 11 o'clock, I saw him step out of the woods and I saw that one side was lower than the other and I recognized him like that and got ready.
not the most experienced bow hunter by no means I've always hunted with a rifle because it's just really really hard to kill a mature buck with a bow in Alabama and Kansas is awesome but when he was walking towards me he was facing me I know he was he was doing the sideways walk all aggressive making himself look big for that decoy but he was still facing me and I was worried about drawing back on him and him catching me just because he was face towards me and I know how smart these deer could be so I hesitated on drawing back and then once I got it back <laughs> I had on a neck warmer and I shoot a thumb release and it got all tangled up in my neck warmer and I was having all kind of trouble and then I was wanting to get him on that perfect broadside shot but as soon as I got it where it was good he jumped his back end over like he was about to mount the decoy and I got that good quarter and away shot which I like quarter and away it goes through all the vitals and such but he gave me that and the rest is history <laughs> didn't make it far <laughs> I love the decoy oh I'm shaking so bad <laughs> That was one of the deer I was after. Is it funny? He's got a weird side, but he's a good 10 point. He's old. Oh, and I'm so happy. I've seen probably six bucks today. And I finally got him. I'm about to turn the camera around so y'all can see because he's laying pretty much right under me. Oh, my first buck with a compound bow and my Oh, definitely, and my biggest with any kind of bow. I killed some with a crossbow, but this is my biggest. And I'm sorry, I'm shaking so bad. I'm excited, and I'm cold, and I'm excited. <laughs> there he is, y'all. I'm still shaking so bad. <laughs> <laughs> points we were after in here. One of them was symmetrical and one of them was crooked. <laughs> you got the crooked one. Look at him. And they're so big body. Look how big his head is. He is huge. He's a, he's, his head's a lot bigger body, bigger than that one I killed. How old do you reckon he is? As old as he's gonna get. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like he looks old to me, baby. He was about to violate that decoy. Yeah. Yeah. We spent. That's a lot. That's a bit. That's a tracking job, there, ain't it? Yeah. She stuck him right there at the decoy. And here he is. Oh, I couldn't have him jumping on that two hundred dollar decoy we just bought. <laughs> I'm so glad we bought him. Yeah, you've had some excitement with that thing, haven't you? Yeah. I want to see if it'll work in Bama. I think it'll work. This is my first buck ever. Well, not my first buck. That's your first rack buck. My buck. first rack buck, pretty much, with a compound bow. I've killed him with a crossbow, but this is the biggest. No <laughs> doubt. It's good deer. Big old sloppy joker. Yeah. yeah. Look at the size of that deer, though. Yeah, I'm, that's what I noticed when I walked out. I said, ooh, Monster. this is where you can tell the difference. Mm. Oh, that was that was cool. Proud mm -hmm. of you, baby. So proud of you. Thank you, baby. Yeah, we were freezing to death this morning. Oh, God. And when I was coming out, I saw a deer, and I said, well, 
Let's just, I'm gonna go up there and clean mine, dress mine. And see if she can stay in there any longer. I was good then because the sun was here. Yeah, the sun finally yeah, warming up. Something. Before that, though, my darn hands were so cold. Right there. It's right there. Right I sat there. here last night and saw that same 10 point. And I didn't think I had enough phone light to record it. And then I saw him again today. Him. A one-horned deer, and then another funky-looking deer that had like one side that was kind of good, like a six-point, and then a spike that split at the end that was limping. Boy, if I can get his name. As soon as he walked out, though, I recognized him because you could see that one side crooked. I said, "Oh Lord!" Beautiful. And I beautiful deer. Hand look him. at him all skin up where he's been fighting. Awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Proud of my little young in here, little stinker. Yeah. I'm tickled to death. Joker was straight down. <clears throat> Baby. Can't beat that with a stick. Mm -mm. That's what we drove up here for. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, thank you, Cody. You the man. Letting us hunt his place. Yep, I told him I had dibs on that other 10 point next year. <laughs> what you think, in the one? I don't know, you don't start me to line, I can't score them like that. I'm gonna say in the 130. <laughs> they fool you. Yeah. Everybody says they, you know, the big, the big body will fool you. But they just thick. They're fat. And their heads are huge. Yeah, heads are huge. Even the doe's heads are huge. But that son of a gun right there is <coughs> huge. Let's go dress some deer. We got another, we got some more doe tags. Let's fill some doe tags. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.